Dear students, in this video, we are going to solve the problem from integrals of transform. Our problem is find the Laplace transform of that is L of sin a t over t. Now solution. Here we have the t in the denominator. So if we have t in the denominator, the only one option that is integral of transform. So we solve the problem using this method. Our integral of transform formula is If L of f of t equal to capital F of s and 1 by t into f of t has a limit as t tends to 0, then our formula L of 1 by t times f of t that is equal to integral s to infinity capital F of S ds. That's our formula. Before we solve the problem, before we apply this step, this formula, we have to check the limit. See, here 1 by t f of t has the limit as t tends to 0. At t tends to 0, the limit exists or not. We check it using L'Hopital's rule. If exist, we continue the problem or we stop the problem. We can't find the Laplace transform for the equation. First, we are going to apply the limit. So, a loop it also rule says that first apply the limit for the given problem. So, limit t tends to 0. The given problem is sin a t by t. Here, wherever t is there, so limit t is given. So, wherever t is there, you can apply the limit. See, apply t 0. Here also t 0. So, now our problem begins. That's equal to sin a of 0 by 0. Sin, again you multiple, you get here a times 0. a times 0, that's equal to 0 only. So, sin 0 by 0. 0. What is the value of sin 0? Sin 0, you know that sin 0 value 0 by 0. 0 by 0. This is called an indeterminate form. This is called an indeterminate form. So, we are going to differentiate using the method L'Hopital's rule. So, we are going to differentiate. The next page we get it. We differentiate the numerator separately. And denominator separately. So, limit t tends to 0. Your numerator, the numerator value that is, what is given? That is sin a t. So, sin a t by denominator differentiation of t. So, you differentiate numerator. Differentiation of sin a t that is equal to cos a t. By standard formula, cos a t. Again, you differentiate inside. See, cos a t you differentiate at with respect to t, you get 1a. Because at with respect to t, here a is a constant. So, t with respect to t, you get 1. So, a times 1, that is equal to a. I put the a here. So, your final answer, that is equal to, this a come to the front side. So, after differentiation, you get a times cos at. Therefore, in the numerator value, you get after differentiation, a times cos a t. By the same way, you differentiate the denominator. What is the denominator value here? Your denominator is t of t. That is your denominator. Now, we differentiate t with respect to t. That is equal to 1. Because t of x with respect to x. You differentiate the same term with same term. See, x with respect to x, you get 1 only. The formula n x power n minus 1. 
t of x power n equal to n x power n minus 1. So, t of x power 1 equal to n value 1. So, 1 x power 1 minus 1. So, 1 into x power 1 minus 1 0. So, any number power 0 you get 1 only. So, 1 times 1 you get final answer 1. So, therefore, t of x power 1 equal to 1 t of t power 1. Here nothing is given. So, t of t means t of t power 1. So, that is equal to your differentiation 1. So, in the denominator differentiation 1. Now, next we apply the limit also here. After differentiation, we apply the limit. So, here limit t turns to 0. Now, wherever t is there, you put limit t equal to 0. Therefore, we put t equal to 0. Now, that will become a times cos a of 0 by 1. That is equal to a times cos 0. Now, cos of you multiply a times 0, again you get 0 only. So, cos 0 by 1. Now, you know the formula value cos 0 equal to 1. So, now you apply here. You get it a times a times cos 0 1 by 1. That is equal to you multiple and solve the, all the problems. You get a times 1 by 1. Finally, you get a. a is a constant. So, our limit is exit. We get a proper solution. So, our limit is exist. Therefore, in the next page, limit our Laplace transform of our given problem sin a t by t that is equal exist. Exist means limit exist. Now, we can continue the problem using Laplace transform. We can find the proper solution. Okay, limit exist means we can continue. Limit does not exist means we can't continue the problem. Now, we apply the integrals of transform formula. What is our formula? Integrals of transform L of f of t equal to f by t equal to integral s to infinity capital F of s into ds. Now, you apply the same formula here. Our given problem L of sin a t by t. sin a t by t equal to integral s to infinity here t is the denominator so now you should not use the t in here inside you should not use t the remaining terms are going inside so your problem becomes l of sin a t times t s Next, you know the formula. What is Laplace transform of sin a t? L of sin a t means Laplace transform of sin a t. That is equal to a by a square plus a square. This is a formula you have to memory. This is a formula. You must memory this formula. So, you are going to apply here. So, that will become again integral s to infinity. So, now L of sin a t equal to a by a square plus a square into ds. Now, we are going to integrate. We take the term a outside. So, in the next step, take a outside. Now, we get a is outside. Integral s to infinity ds by the remaining term. Copy the remaining term. What are the terms are here? You copy the remaining. So, the remaining terms are a square plus a square. Now, we, we have to know the integration formula. We know the formula. One formula integral dx by x square plus a square equal to our formula 1 by a tan inverse of x by a. This formula. So, here you compare both. You get this is of the form x square. That is of the form a square. So, x square plus a square. In the numerator you have ts means tx. So, you apply the same formula. But the values are different here. Your a value here. What's your a value? A value equal to same a only. S is equal to a. So, just apply the same formula here. You apply x is equal to s. A equal to a only. Then you get the answer. So, our, our problem becomes. That is equal to a times. Now, your after integration, you apply this formula. Now, you get 
1 by a tan inverse of x by a. x by a means here s is there. So, s by a. After integration, you apply the limit as to infinite. Now, can you cancel any time? You check that. Yes, we can cancel. See, see that here a, a cancel. This a is in the numerator. This a is in the denominator. So, we can cancel both numerator and denominator a. Now, write the remaining terms. Our remaining terms are tan inverse of s by a. Our limits are s to infinite. Now, you are going to apply the upper limit. Okay. Wherever s is the t s is our function. T s is our function. So, the integration with respect to s. So, wherever s is there, first you put infinite. Next you put s. First you put upper limit. Next you put lower limit. In the middle you put minus sign. That is the rule. So, now I am going to apply the upper limit. That is equal to turn inverse of s place we replace s equal to infinite. So, infinite by a minus in the middle minus sign. Next, this is upper limit. Next is lower limit. Minus lower limit apply, apply lower limit. That is tan inverse of s by a. So, how do you apply the limit? First, tan inverse of s by a. Limit infinity to s is there. Upper limit is infin, infinity. First, you apply the upper limit. So, in the place of s, you apply upper limit. What is your upper limit? That is infinity. So, infinity by a. Next, you apply the lower limit. So, again, in the place of s is there. In the place of s, you apply the lower limit. Your lower limit also s. You apply the same s here. So, you get this term. Tan inverse of infinite by a minus tan inverse of s by a. Next is... S equal to tan inverse of infinite by a. Again, you get infinite only. Minus tan inverse of s by a. These are constant terms. S and a are some constants. So, infinite by a. Infinite by any number, you get infinite. So, infinite by a, you divide, you get infinite. Next, we are going to find the value of tan inverse of infinite. The previous page, we get tan inverse of infinite minus tan inverse of s by a tan inverse of infinite in the table sin cos theta you studied one table sin theta cos theta tan theta trigonometry table sin 0 sin 30 sin 45 sin 60 sorry 60 and 90 here sin 0 0 cos 0 1 tan 0 0 so, in this table, you found the value where is infinity in tan. Tan where in it is infinity. Here, this is infinity. Tan value here infinity. You check it thoroughly. Tan 90 infinity in this table. Tan of 90 degree. So, tan of 90 degree, you get the answer. That is equal to infinity. So, here you found the value tan infinity. When it is infinity, tan 90 degree. So, 90 degree minus tan inverse of s by a. Using the table, trigonometric table, we found the value. Next, in 90 degree can be written as by by 2. By means 190, by by 2 is, by means 190, 180 degree by 2. Now, we cancel 1, 2, so 2, 90, 2, so 180. So, you get 90 degrees. So, pi by 2 is equal to 180. So, I can replace here 90 equal to pi by 2. So, next is minus tan inverse of S by A. So, next we are going to apply one formula. The formula is, this is a formula. You memory that. Our formula Cot square theta plus tan square theta equal to 90 degree or y by 2. Now, our problem 90 minus tan. See that 90 minus tan. Tan inverse. So, what we do is keep the cot, cot, sorry. 
heat is caught inverse of theta this side move the tan inverse next side so next side already you have next side already you have 190 degree pi by 2 this tan inverse is a plus tan inverse that will go to opposite side it will become minus tan inverse so minus tan inverse of theta this is the formula you just memory the formula we found from cot inverse theta plus tan inverse theta equal to pi by 2 we want pi by 2 minus tan inverse so we get cot inverse so here you apply that is equal to cot inverse of theta what is your theta value this is theta theta value equal to s by a so s by a we found the answer okay we can transform into other format also cot inverse equal to we know one formula the other formula cot inverse of x by y that is equal to tan inverse of y by x we just take reciprocal you take reciprocal x by y turn into y by x so that time cot is turn into tan cot inverse is turn inverse so if you change if you stop the problem or you can change then you take it that's equal to turn inverse of a by s just i take reciprocal cot inverse change into turn inverse s by a is turn into a by s therefore l of sine a t by a that is equal to you get the two different answers you can use it for here cot inverse also or, or tan inverse so cot inverse s by a both are equal you can use any formula that is equal to cot inverse also or tan inverse also okay this is the method of finding l of sin a t by t using the integrals of transform method thank you